sale. Well, we've got some things you need to know. We got Angela Calla, who is here, mortgage expert and accredited mortgage professional. Welcome back to the show. Um, we're talking about, about pre sales. And I mean, really, I mean, most of us can remember in the news, I'm sure you can as well, mm -hmm. about the problems that people had even as, you know, early as a year ago with developers walking away from the projects. Is it a safer time now for people? Well, it certainly is. The markets had the opportunity to rebalance itself. And in that time of rebalancing, developers have had the opportunity to go back to their suppliers, renegotiate costs because last year when we were comparing it, costs were much higher, there was much more demand, and now developers have to regain the trust of Canadians by offering great incentives for people and that combined with the low pricing and the great interest rates today is contributing to a good opportunity for first time buyers or people who are looking at purchasing for rentals. Well and that's a good point to make too because as we gear up for the Olympics I know that a lot of people whether they have existing properties or of course if they're maybe considering buying pre-sell are thinking about the money making opportunities. Now Gregor Robinson was heard uh, mentioning something in the news about potential changes to strata with respect to rentals, right? Well that's right. Now when you purchase a new development there's absolutely no restrictions on the condo whatsoever. Because there's no bylaws at that point. That's right. right. The bylaws are only created a few months generally after you move into the condo and a strata council is formed. And if you're the original purchaser you're grandfathered into the original no restrictions. Now with that in mind uh, City Council doesn't have the ability to mandate over bylaws. However, you can guarantee that purchasing as a rental by being the first purchaser. Okay, but it's wait. something you have to keep in mind if you sell uh, that rental. How many rentals you have, because That's that right. can also affect negatively your ability to sell your place, right? That's right. Yeah. Right. So you see more rentals, and that could be an issue. Uh, when you're looking at something like a pre sale, what kind of down payment? Is it, is it similar to any other? It's purchase? actually very different okay. because there's going to be a time lapse in between when you purchase and when your completion date is. There's generally different developments require different down payments. Some will require anywhere from 5% or to up to 20%. And so that's something that can be staged and negotiated. And again, if you're using a real estate agent, they're going to be able to help help you negotiate those terms and also be aware of the disclosure statement, anything that you should know to make sure that that fits into your financial goals. And their services are free just as an accredited mortgage professionals right. to make certain that it's, it's in mind with your financial goals. Let's talk a little bit about the closing costs because of course as we head into next year we're going to have something called the HST that people need to be right. concerned about when it comes to pre-sales. This could translate into lots of money. It certainly could but 70% of first time home buyers who are fueling the market right now are purchasing under the $400,000 mark. And there certainly are many opportunities within that price range. And, um, you know, you can add GST and HST to your purchase price. So it's not an out-of-pocket expense. Right. But you do have things like realtor fees. And I know with pre-sales, it becomes a little bit easier to not use a realtor. But why might I want to consider using one still for a pre-sale? Well, it's not easier not to use a realtor okay. because 90% of the product that's sold in the market is done by a real estate agent. And as an example, with the pre-sale that I purchased over the weekend, my real estate agent had the opportunity to go in there and have a better selection of units. There was 220 realtors that were there, 130 uh, units, and 70% of them were sold. We got additional percentages off, some people got upgrades, and we get the best selection of units. And keep in mind that they're professionally reviewing the disclosure statement. Their services are free. We as buyers do not pay for it, just as um, when a person is using an accredited mortgage professional to negotiate their mortgage. So the service is generally unbiased and making certain that it's consistent with your financial goals. Excellent. Well, if you want more information on Angela Calip, of course, we'll have her website on our website, breakfasttelevision.ca. And, of course, you are the host of The Mortgage Show on 1410. Uh, and, of course, people can hear you just by going to our website, find out more about Angela. Uh, thanks very much for joining us. You're Lots welcome, of great information. Nice As we go to break, here's a look at your top five rock downloads. Thanks, Angela. You're Take welcome, care. sweetie. Right, take care.